Let's check social media check-in. Jonathan and Vanessa scouring. 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 Okay, Tico Ziv Ziv Zivadzi. Zivadzi. Ziv Zivadzi. Ziv Zivadzi. There you go. Not just Zivadzi. Ziv Zivadzi. Ziv Zivadzi. Okay, Tico. Uh, yes, Tico. Brad Squad VIP member does yes. the. The fact that USCIS does not recognize foreign divorce mean that if my ex-husband wins an asylum case, I will, I will get status too. We applied for asylum when we were still married. The, an the answer is they do recognize foreign divorces. They only don't recognize foreign divorces that are fake. Legitimate civil foreign divorces they recognize. If you are divorced before your husband is granted asylum, there's nothing you can do. If you get divorced after your husband is granted asylum, uh, then you can file your own asylum claim as long as you're from the same country. It will almost always be granted. Samuel Ola Bisihai on YouTube. I want to file my 10 years. I came to America through an immigrant visa. What forms do I need to send to USCIS? Uh, I-751. Okay, Daryl Winnebay or Winneba on YouTube. Uh, can I apply for a change of status from B1 or B2 to F1? And when it's pending, can I apply for adjustment of status for a green card through marriage? Yes, uh, as long as you don't do it all simultaneously because you can't change status to a student visa and adjust simultaneously. Changing to a student visa shows a non-immigrant intent, which means you're saying to the government, at the t end of my studies, I'm leaving. So if you turn around the next day after you file for a change of status to student that says I'm leaving, and then say, oh, by the way, 24 hours later, I'm getting my green card, they're going to say you lied on the student visa application. So you have to wait at least 90 days after it's filed, even if not yet approved, before you then file the adjustment. Frank Mabech on um, YouTube. Can I travel to Puerto Rico with my driver's license? I have a pending asylum case. Yes. Andrea Wilson on Facebook. My husband submitted all my immigration forms except my I-864 and got an RFE to send it in. He is his own company and works for himself. Does he have to submit a W-2 as well as his tax return? No, just his tax returns and a letter that he's self-employed. Amine Fadi on YouTube, I overstayed my visa. I work in food delivery and pay taxes using a tax ID. Can I be considered an essential worker if the bill passes? I have no idea. Let's see if the bill passes. Dalen Jacked on YouTube, I've uh, been um, qu documentarily qualified for over one year now. Uh, the last uh, update from NVC is that they'll schedule an interview in 60 days, but it has been over 120 days since the last update. What can I do at this point? What, what, what country is this? Does not say. Uh, contact the NVC, but I don't know what country it is. And last one from Veronica Wade on YouTube. My nephew was banned because they said he didn't have the right documents to enter. He is now banned for five years. Can he appeal this ban or does he have to wait until the ban expires? Well, he, he, he can't even apply for five years and then after five years, he's gonna need a waiver. That's basically what it is. He's barred for life without a waiver. So there's no appeal, but he's gonna need a waiver whatever he does in the future. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.